What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Before we start, let me just tell you guys how beautiful my wife looks today. Thank you very much. And I'm blessed. But today we're going to talk about some tips and tricks, hopefully, to help you guys out in your relationship. So over time, in our past relationship, we've learned a lot of things. We've learned a lot of things from our relationship. We've learned a lot of things from our friends' relationships, and so on and so on. So we want to help people out there that are going through these relationship issues or want to make their relationship better and give us some good advice, some good tips and tricks to maybe boost that relationship up or hit those sparks or make sure everything is going the way it should be that's forward and not backward and not stagnant. So today is a really good one. I think it applies to a lot of people out there, especially in today's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Money cannot buy you love. Money can't buy you love. They've been singing about this for so long, <laughs> talking about this for so long, but I see a lot of people still making this mistake. And mm -hmm. usually it's on the guy side. Uh -huh. Guys think that, you know what? I can buy love. I can buy affection. I can buy girls. And this is- I mean, is... You, you can buy girls <laughs> and you can buy other stuff. Let's yeah. not get you wrong there, yeah. right? But that doesn't buy the true yeah. heart of love. Right. That you know? unconditional love. Uh, you got to earn that one. That love that's there for you no matter what, mm -hmm. even if the chips are down or you lose that fortune, mm -hmm. who's going to be there by your side, right? Exactly. And the other mistake is, is that some guys out there think that they can mess up or not be there and buy affections or buy time. So let's give an example of this. Mm -hmm. First off, let's go back to the previous statement. So a lot of guys I know out there, or some of the guys, I should say, lead with the wrong foot. And what do I mean by that? The first thing they say is what they do, how much they make, and what kind of car they drive. Yikes. Okay, guys. Now, you put it out there already. Listen, I've got all this money. Um, I can do all these different things. And that's the first thing that they learn about you mm -hmm. because you think that that's the most important thing. It's really not. I mean, yes, having money, having stability, having a good job, are all A pluses and good traits that a lot of women out there or if it's vice versa, men out there would probably look for in a woman, right. right? So at that point, it is a good thing to have, but it's not a good thing to start off with, especially in the first conversation or the first time you meet somebody. Yeah. Not until a little bit later on the conversation or if they ask you. And then if they ask you and it's too early, you gotta kind of question that too. Like, are you just worried about how much money I make and what kind of car I drive? Um, you can get around it. Just be like, so what do you do? You yeah. The, the best that, thing that, that, that's a common question, you know, but you know, you don't want to go in and be like, so I got this and I got yeah. that. I know some guys are like, I got this watch and I got yeah. this thing and I bought that the other day. And yeah. it's like, you know, sometimes the real true girl that you're looking for, they may not care that much about that. They're going to look for other traits that you might have right. that whether you had money or not, it's irrelevant. It's always good, you know, I mean, just looking at a girl, right, and then having a conversation and talking about what are your likes and dislikes, right? I mean, these are some common things, maybe some common things that you guys are there doing, whether it's uh, you're in the mall and you're shopping or you're at a museum and looking at paintings, right? So it's kind of like just starting the conversation, like, you know, what do you like? What are you into? What do you like to do? Like some of these different things, instead of just leading off with, I'm a doctor, I've got 10 <laughs> no. million in the bank, I've got a yacht, I'm gonna take you out sailing, you know, like, okay, this is cool, <laughs> we right? We get a tan on Sunday. Right, right. <laughs> um, and then the other point, the other point is this. So if you're in a relationship and you're blessed with money or maybe you're not blessed with money and you mess up or you're not around, right? You're working all the time continuously because listen, we know we gotta work, right? We gotta work to make money, livelihood, to pay the bills and to feed ourselves or our children or significant other. No, no. So at that point, <laughs> you know, when you mess up, let's say you missed a, a big anniversary, 
right? Oh man, you better get some gifts. Let, let's not, let's not, <laughs> let me, let me back this up because that is a bad example. If you miss an anniversary, you better buy like three gifts. Okay. So yes, money could buy your anniversary back. So let's go there. But if you mess up, let's just say it's a very common one, right? Let's say you cheat. Ooh. I can assure you that flowers are not going to fix that. Okay. So you can't go and buy or you take them for like, let me go get you a new purse or let me go buy you a car or let me go and get you something. And you think that that's just going to make it all right. Everything after that is going to be peaches and cream. It doesn't work that way. You are going to have to regain their trust. That's what you have to do. You keep, money doesn't do that. You have to do that. Right. Money's not going to buy them trust. You can't buy trust either. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, you're not going to be able to buy love. You can't um, be with somebody and then take them shopping sprees and not spend any quality time with them or not do anything with them and just keep buying them a bunch of stuff. Be like, well, I got you a diamond bracelet and I got you these diamond earrings and I bought you this purse and whatever it might be. I mean, honestly, I'll be totally honest with you. Like me personally, I didn't, I even told John when I first met him and this is True statement. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I told him, I said, I don't care how much money you got. Like, I don't care. Like, I want to make sure, I, I said, I want us to make good money. This was back in the day, way before Titan was even thought of. I was like, I want us to be stable. But, you know, if you're not never around, it's irrelevant. I was like, I'd rather be broke and be able to spend time with you and you have to spend time with our family than have money and you not be around. And now, I mean, I, I was honest about that. I really meant that because I, you know. Love him so bad. <laughs> the bonding time was what really makes a relationship, right? This is with your wife, your fiance, your girlfriend, or somebody you're just starting to date. Mm -hmm. uh, the time that you spend builds that connection with you guys. So it's hard not to have time with them and to build a real true connection. Mm -hmm. Even with the world we live in today and the environment where you, know, you might not be able to travel and see people or whatever it may be, you have to do it over a phone. I mean, yes, you're having some communication with them, you're spending some time with them, but there's nothing like being with them, touching them, holding them, hugging them, and having and creating these new experiences. You guys are going to do things maybe you've never done before or doing things you like to do together. There's no substitute for that. Um, and like I said, there's exceptions to every rule to a certain to a I mean, certain like we totally percent, love right? gifts. Like let's not, like I'm not, I cannot downplay yeah, this. Yeah. I really do like gifts. I like gifts. I like diamonds, I like purses, I like shoes, I like stuff too, okay? So let's, we need to be realistic here, right? Because girls do like it. Wait. You can gift them. However, this doesn't buy the love, right? Because right? then guess what? Then you build a whole relationship on materialistic things. Yep. That's not a real relationship. That, I mean, I guess it could be if you want to just keep buying stuff, but it's not a real heart-to-heart -heart relationship where you guys are actually connecting. It doesn't create love. It right? doesn't. It doesn't create love. Uh, it can accentuate love, like, you know, if you really you have an anniversary and you really want to buy a nice anniversary gift or their birthday or whatever it may be, or you're thinking just off the head, hey, listen, I'm going to get her flowers. They're going to appreciate that, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to love that gift that you give them. But if it's to make up for something, it's going to be a hard one. And they might take it and accept it and be happy for that moment. They'll take it. But they might be thinking in their head differently, right? And you don't know that. You're just like, oh, well, I gave this to her. It's over with. Thank God. I'm out of this. Let's go on and move on, right? And it just, it, yeah, right. It, it never happens. It, they might be happy for that that small little minute. Oh, and then, I love this. And then later on, it's like, oh. Uh, Two days later, you know what? I'm still really pissed about this. Yeah, yeah. So this is just one good tip for you guys. And it's a long, That's a good one. long tip from a long, long ago, right? Mm -hmm. They've been saying this forever. Songs, those old wise tales. So money cannot buy you love mm -hmm. at all, right? Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys understand this, you guys utilize this, and if you guys do got money, that's a good thing, right? But don't lead off with it either. There's other things about yourself that you're probably gonna wanna lead off with because that's really gonna find true love. Yeah. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this sums up another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for joining us every Sunday here on ABC, 11 a.m. If you guys missed it, Try to DVR, or you guys can always hit YouTube, just search Titan Medical Center, and you guys will get all the Cupid's Corners you guys love, and you guys will get to listen to it all day long if you want to. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week. See you then.